Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of Q&A Your Time. This week I have a very exciting question by Luca Simoncini, a long time follower of my YouTube channel. And he's asking to do a comparison of the three instruments that are now present. So how are we going to do that? You will see some colored blocks in this video somewhere with a number in. So those numbers lead you to the different spots, to different links within this YouTube video. So instrument one, instrument two, instrument three. You can skip every explanation and just go for a comparison. And I will first play a so uh, few chords only to give you first impression. And also I will leave the amplification of the sound at the same level. I have a kind of application here on my tablet that measures the decibels, decibels and I know it's a sensitive topic in clavichord world to talk about loudness and it's not my point to say which instrument sounds loudest, but it's interesting to you to know the real difference in sound because little one is sounding much quieter obviously than the big ones. And so to give you a real, a real impression, I'm playing just some chords. And when I play the Pachel bell, because that I'm going to use as a demonstration piece, some lines, uh, 20 seconds or so, I'm going to upgrade or to level up the sound of the fretted clavichord so that it equalizes a little bit in sound impression with the other instruments. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen the small video on the three instruments clavichords in my house, uh, which is only temporarily like the case. This, of course, is my instrument. That instrument belongs to Joris Potflieg, it's his own instrument. I've taken this to Timmendorf Strand in Germany to play a concert on. And the little one there is a beautiful instrument made by Christopher Clark in 1978, a triple fretted clavichord, a copy of the one that's present in the Russell Collection in Edinburgh, if I'm not mistaken. We will do a video on that, I will make a recording on that. So this is a first sound impression and it's nothing more than an impression on that. It's not my instrument, it belongs to Patrick Collon, uh, who is an organ builder, good friend of mine living in Brussels. So while I am preparing here for the setup to give you a comparison between these three instruments, the reason that I did a decibel comparison is just to give you an accurate comparison of the three instruments. For those of you who are not familiar with decibel metering, decibels are a logarithmical scale, which basically means that a doubling in numbers doesn't mean, doesn't imply a doubling in volume or better said, a sound pressure. When a decibel meter generally spoken, because it's rather complicated, it shows an increase or decrease of three or four decibels, it means a doubling or halving of the sound pressure level. In real life, that doesn't mean that we would perceive the sound as being doubled or halved in volume, because besides our ears, we have also our eyes and our brain that really connects and really combines all information and makes new reality. Microphones, of course, have no brains. They are just amplified. And in fact, by giving you this short update on decibels and by providing you actually the decibel metering of the three instruments that is actually quite necessary to give you an impression of how these three instruments compare to one each other. So the big clavichords actually are around 80 decibel sound pressure level and the smaller one, which is not surprisingly that it sounds softer, it's around a maximum of 70. 10 decibel difference is about four times uh, less sound pressure level. So again, that m shouldn't surprise us, but microphones, they will not give you that accurate picture. And that's the reason why I provided you with this kind of awkward test in this comparison. So now it's time to have the real comparison of sound. <laughs>
So I hope you enjoyed this comparison as much as I did. It's really fun to have three instruments in the same house. Um, although I must say I'm literally the one instrument guy. I don't need more than one, one instrument and I enjoy playing on other instruments. Of course I do. It's a nice experience, but in daily life and daily practice and daily, you know, um, my life as a musician, um, it's for me, really comfortable to only have one clavichord so I don't have to think in the mornings which lit of which instrument I'm opening. I only have to tune one instrument and you know after a while an instrument is like a suit. It fits you and it feels comfortable. So, uh, but anyway, having said that, it's an experience that you cannot skip from if you have the chance to play on other instruments. You learn from that, you gain experience and it's always a kind of small new world that opens. So thank you Luca for asking. It was a fun video to make. If you have your own uh, questions, do not hesitate to ask them. Uh, by the way, you know that we are having now, we started with the uh, live sessions on Sunday evening, Brussels time, 9.30 p.m with the practicing hours, going to all the symphonias. If you haven't been there, uh, maybe something to visit once. It's, uh, it's nice to do live with you. I read your chat, I read your questions, I reply to them immediately. And actually that was it for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time again. Bye.